Good morning, everyone. It's me, Tommy Tutu, and this is just another Saturday. <laughs> This Saturday, we are returning to the Devil's Punch Bowl by popular demand. Alright everyone, so we're doing the Devil's Punch Bowl, episode 4. So why 4 episodes of the Devil's Punch Bowl? Because this is one of the most beautiful trails I've ever been on. And we got uh, snow on the mountains. So yeah, I'm just uh, I'm a little careful I'm going down here right now, I gotta watch my step, but man this is beautiful it's amazing and by the way today's my birthday so uh, this is what I'm doing on my birthday so uh, I did see some tracks earlier they looked like bear could have been a dog they were massive though so I'm not sure check it out when I get home um, but yeah man this place is just so beautiful um, so I'm doing the punch bowl, not the chair. The chair is almost eight miles and it's very difficult. This is the bowl, which is only maybe about a mile, mile and a half. A lot of up and down hills, so it's a little difficult. Um, but yeah, hey, very beautiful trail, man. Um, I'm here early, there's a creek, lots of snow in the mountains. Um, Oh, there's also some poisonous bushes. When I come across them, I'll show you. Um, I haven't seen it yet. It's called Poodle Bush. But yeah, so this is <laughs> so much fun, dude. Oh, I love this. This picture in picture view is cool. So, all right, everyone. So let's just uh, working my way downhill and catch in a little bit. Back on the trail. Uh, I'm just gonna keep in this, uh, this picture in picture view. This part's not too safe. Oh, this is super cool.
Oh, there it is. This is what I was talking about. Um, it looks like little miniature palm trees. It's called poodle dog bush. It is poisonous. So you don't want to touch it. Um, there's some more right here. This right here. Yeah, so that's, it looks cute. It looks like little miniature palm trees, but it's not. It's a poisonous plant. Um, even if you breathe the, the spores in, you can infect your lungs. So that poodle bush right here, that's what you want to avoid. So yeah, we can see some, uh, got a little baby manzanita here. Um, this is a uh, chaparral yucca, otherwise known as the Lord's Candle. Um, yeah, so I know a little bit about the plants, but yeah, definitely stay away from this one, poodle bush. You'll thank me later. So, just went uphill, to turn out breath. I just saw something right here around the corner. And here we go again. More poodle bush. Poisonous. Do not touch. <laughs> All right, it's, it's, oh gosh, there's more right here. There's a big patch right here. Yeah, this one. Oh gosh, there's a lot of it. <laughs> so, it's a poodle bush grows in places that just caught on fire. And it actually helps the soil recover. It recovers fertility. So it is beneficial, but it's just poisonous. Um, a few years ago, the, the Devil's Punch Bowl was caught on fire. And so as you see, see all the trees? How they're all burnt. See all the burnt trees? Yeah, so it caught on fire a few years ago. And, and yeah, so now poodle bush grows here because it, it grows in places that were once on fire. And that's why we see a lot of it here. And that's why it's a good thing to have some kind of general knowledge of the hiking trails that you're going on. Um, which is why I'm glad you're watching this video. So, it's fun and educational. <laughs> oh, coming up to the, to the tectonic plates now. Back to Marie. Awesome, so here we go. I didn't know it was this close. Oh, here we are, up close and personal now. Let's see if I get a closer look. So, yeah, check it out. I'm right up close to it now. The punch bowl. See the creek below. Super beautiful. Love the creek. The, there's where I started. Right. So I'll continue moving along. And yeah. right. Ca catch up with you in a minute. Oh, here's a spot where I got lost last time. So, as I pointed out in my last video, do you see this sign here? It says, trail. So I missed that last time, and I accidentally went down here this way. And that was the first time I ever came here, so. But it takes you right in front of the creek, so let's go have a look real quick. Downhill. 
Then I gotta go back up. And now they have warning signs. See? So for people like me who accidentally went this way last time. So basically what I'm saying is don't don't go the way I'm going. See fact. Oh now they have a sign here that redirect you. Perfect. Alright, let's continue. This is gonna look at the creek, right? Beautiful. 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 Okay. Catch you in a minute. All right, you guys. So I'm just about done. I'm on the uphill part now. But uh, you see the exit from you see the exit from here. So, and that's why I'm all out of breath right now. Is because once you go down, you have to climb back up. And I'm going on the uphill part now. It's hard, but it's not, it's really short, so it's not too hard. Um, I would still rate this trail as a medium difficulty just because of the uphill part. Uh, otherwise it would have been easy, but yeah, so I'm here at the end. Uh, you can see I'm back looking down now. Looking down on the the earthquake fall and the, looking up at the mountains. So yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about poodle bush, poisonous plant to look out for. And oh, I'm at the end. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. And God bless you. So I decided I'm going to try to do part of the devil's chair. Um, it's eight miles round trip. There's no way I could do that right now. I just finished the punch bowl. I'm exhausted. And the devil's chair is probably the hardest, well it is the hardest hike I've ever done. So there's no way I could do a medium difficulty hike and then come to the devil's chair the hardest hike I've ever done and try to complete it it's just I know my body limits that's not gonna happen um, got a late, a late start today so if it takes me five or six hours it'll be nighttime when I get back so uh, even though I do have flashlights I'm not comfortable doing that so oh here we, go. we got a log <laughs> A tree fell over right here in the middle of the hiking path. So, got to go around that, no big deal. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing part of the devil's chair. I don't know how, how much of it I'm gonna do. It'd be nice if I could do it all, but I doubt it. So, but yeah, I'm doing really well. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm approaching the creek right now. So, I'll give you an update when I reach the creek, okay? All right, see you in a moment. Okay, you guys, this is gorgeous. There, snow where I'm approaching right now. There's snow on the ground right here, right next to me. So, I <laughs> was not expecting a snow hike. But here we are, so. Uh, 
Oh gosh, there's a lot of poodle bush here. Yeah, here we go. This, this first creek is dry, but as you can see, lots of lots of snow over here. Got across the dry creek right here. Oh gosh, lots of the poodle bush here. I gotta watch my step. Oh, right here, right next to me. Oh gosh, it's everywhere here. Yeah, that's a poisonous, poisonous plant. Oh man, there's a lot of it. So, yeah, if you come here, be careful. Know what it looks like. That's it. So just take a good look at it. Know what it looks like and be prepared. Look, we got more snow. Oh, it's kind of muddy here too. So, all right, guys. So coming around the corner here. Snow on the ground. All right, let's keep going. Oh, lots of snow. Ooh, lots, lots of snow. More poodle bush. Man, there's a lot of it here. Okay. Oh. All right. I'll catch up with you later. It's all covered in snow. Oh my. Ooh, I don't know how far I can go. Very right, guys. This part of the trail is covered in snow, so I guess we'll just go for it. Ice, it's ice. It's not even snow, it's ice. It's slippery. That should be fine. So I got good boots. For my trekking pole. Which, this one does not have a snow spike. But, it has a screw coming through it with jacks like a snow spike. So, I'm pretty confident. Slippery. Alright, made it through the snow. So. Now that I think about it, I gotta get down. So. <coughs> we'll, we'll figure that out when, on my way back. Alright, so. Alright, let's continue. Uphill again. Heat uphill. Alright. I'm going to catch you in a minute. Ooh. 
very muddy. This is poodle bush sticking out. You gotta watch out for that. It's sticking out right on the trail. There's some more, look. See? There's the poodle bush. And look, right in the path of the trail. Right in the walkway, so. Know your poisonous plants. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Creek's dry. Last year it was really full. Got across the snow. Uh, I'm not gonna film while doing that. It's too dangerous. So, catch up with you later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I was attempting to make it to the Devil's Chair, but it is just too snowed in. It's very steep at beyond this point. Um, I just don't feel safe enough to do it. So, I'm about a little over two miles in. So I'm going to call it quits right here and uh, head back home. As you can see, I've already been walking in snow. Just it gets much steeper right here. And uh, I just don't feel safe. I'm out here by myself. Um, so I'm not going to risk it. Um, so this is where I stop. Um, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next journey next Saturday. God bless you.